To hybridize a plant, you have to know a little bit about plant anatomy, specifically the physical male and female re reproductive part of a plant's flower. You need to be able to identify the male part of the plant called a stamen and the anthers that are located at the tip of the stamen and produces the pollen, and the female part of the plant called a pistil and the stigma that is the part of the plant that has to be fertilized as it produces the seeds. As highlighted in this diagram, the anther and the rest of the male parts tend to be physically located on the outside of the flower, and the stigma and the female parts tend to be located in the center of the flower. The process of hybridizing a plant is quite simple. You begin by selecting the seed parent, in other words, the plant that will produce the seeds. You then remove the seed parent's flower petals. And then you remove the stamens, which are the male parts of the seed parent, to discourage insects or the wind from inadvertently pollinating the seed parent, and in some cases, from the plant self-pollinating. In other words, you want the seed parent plant to only be pollinated by the plant that you have selected to be the pollinating parent plant. Next, you check the stigma on the seed parent plant for readiness. Readiness is usually indicated by the stigma being somewhat sticky so that the pollen from the pollinating plant will stick to the stinger and fertilize the seed parent plant. Then you identify the pollen parent plant and check the pollen parent plant for readiness. This can be performed by tapping the pollen parent's anthers on a white sheet of paper to see if the pollen falls off the anthers and onto the paper like a fine dust. You can remove the pollen parent's flower petals to make this process easier. If the pollen parent and the seed parent are both ready, you then paint the pollen parent's pollen, which is on the anthers, onto the seed parent's sticky sigma. You may be able to continually repeat this process for a few days if the seed and the pollen parent continue to demonstrate readiness. After you have successfully completed this process, in the following days or weeks, the flower parts of the plant will fall apart and you will see seed parts forming. Eventually, you will have seeds that are a product of the two plants that you selected to be hybridized.